Thus, you don't have sane people come into it. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a viable career path if you know how to, if you know what to do with it. Which I know how to do with it. I... Yeah, but ninety-five percent of people wouldn't. So. No. Okay, so let's pretend. Okay, let's talk about esports career. I haven't, I haven't necessarily like rounded you guys up yet, obviously, to talk about all the different stuff, what you guys talked about. But in esports careers, is when you're able to, you know, sustain your life because of esports and do what you want, right? Playing video games, blah blah. Okay. Um. So how many people have been in LCS and are no longer in LCS? About a, you know, fifty, right? Yeah, about fifty. How many of them actually still have lives in esports or lives that are fulfilled? Fucking Scara and I'm a cutie pie to name two. To name two. <laughs> out of like you know everybody else, like what's yeah. like happening, right? Yeah. No the odd one plays Civ Five game. every night now. I see a stream. Yeah, exactly. But why is it because they marketed themselves when they were in the spotlight? Because they 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 using the LCS spotlight, they carved a niche just for them. And so, like, to have a career in esports, it's not about necessarily getting to the top and staying at the top. It's about making your debut, you ha and then when the spotlight is fucking on you, you make a fucking impact, and you get popular that way, build a fan base, and then off of the fan base, you make you make bank. That's literally it. Mm -hmm. Esports is all about bringing, creating value for yourself that you that you can't do or you don't want to do elsewhere. Um, like, you know, people that are my age, 23, not, there's very, very, very little, uh, people that can be like, yeah, you know, I have four years of coaching experience on top of a year of working in retail on top of something else. I'm just like, oh, you got five years of work experience at 23 and most of them have to deal, deal to deal with people. A lot of people hate dealing with people. We're just like, yeah, if you don't have to deal What's with up? people and manage my business, please just do it. <laughs> At least that's what I would love to, you know, to imagine. But man, yeah, you, it's all about, it's bent on creating value for yourself. All little nitpicks is just smaller ways to make value. If you have fucking, if you're recording yourself, post that shit on YouTube. You can stream, fucking stream at a regular basis. Stream whenever you play video games. Now there's there's a lot of things people can do and people don't like myself I could be like streaming my rank games right now and like try to make myself you know popular again but I'm just like yeah you know I'd, I'd rather spend my time helping you guys out and talking to you guys talking with you guys I appreciate it so, everyone who's worked with me coach whether it's through strategy or through just life coaching like this right or I call it, I call it success coaching. Oh, because they, uh, they always come back to me, or they always be like, "Hey, are you on a team?" Or "Hey, Izzy, hey," you know, there's, there's always that. So like, I'm not saying that I'm like super popular, obviously, but for the people my eyes you are that have worked under me, they know what I bring to the table. I mean, that's the reason why Wally you know, wanted to bring me to the first place. Knew what you guys needed, and you guys weren't. Kick your ass for shit. And if that means me telling you, hey man, tough it up, or hey man, that's normal, you gotta change your perspective on those things because this is how it's gonna be, and you need to be ready. And this, is, this is how you get ready. I mean, that's that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna give you guys a short end of the stick, I'm gonna say how it is, but also give you the solution to get there. And I'm gonna put it as eloquently as I can while getting the same point across. So, I don't watch VODs, so I cannot I cannot support nor deny any claims on performance. I'm here for mindset and listening to things. And the reason why is because I don't have time to look at VODs and record and blah blah blah. And also, to be honest, whenever I start watching VODs, I start falling asleep. Yeah, it's it's I can see that. Unless you're actively watching, it's super easy to fall asleep. Even when I'm actively watching, like, hey man, I gotta watch two bots today, and like half, like a fourth way to the first bot, I'm just like, I wanna take a nap. <laughs> the reason why is because I think too much, and so I mentally, like, exhaust myself. I didn't see that. We have not seen this guy all game. That's a fucking tough cookie to crack. I mean, if you have a, you know, gold level smurf, a lot, I mean, we can duo together if you know how I think. <laughs> like, I'm down. But, uh, I'm playing on my main. 
rent solo right now. Yeah, I mean, same here. I just started the game 30 seconds in. Alright. So, if you wanna play afterwards, duo it up, I'm down. My typical duo partner is actually like, was like, I dug up too many holes and I'm so fucking tired, so we can't play the Eagle Watch enemy today. I'm just like, fucking hell! Take the wave here. Playing, so I yeah. Hmm. Actually, I have to shove this one in. In a game that I won not too long ago, I had to start traps first on Caitlyn. And that was because I flashed trap during an invade and I fucking got the stun off! <laughs> you got it? That's fucking lit. I mean, you were there when I was, uh, when you, you played as Hive, right? Yeah. how like I tried to get everybody but no one would fucking listen. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it irritates me when that kind of shit happens. Like and I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah. When one person does it, it doesn't do anything. When two people do it, results start. Yeah. yeah. Specifically oh, like Oh god wait. Oh my team just got outplayed. <sighs> Oof. Yeah, oh, Cossack's is two and oh. Oh now he's blaming. Oh dear. Not time to mute. Hold up. Just uh, drop that mute real quick. Uh, how to mute. Don't show up. I don't know how to mute. Get down, 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 down. Oh, all the minions. I hate the little minions. Oh, I want to. It seems this viewer is half ass keeping track of my cooldowns, which is good enough against Darius, but can't let her recall here. Alright, she did not recall here. What? Teemo died. I mean, I have a Teemo jungle, I'm not gonna say that's, you know, good. But the fact is the Teemo jungle and Teemo died, well oh, that's not good at all. No, goodbye Renick then, you're dead. Hmm. Well, I guess yes. Ooh, my bot lane's popping off. Actually, this game's a one game. We have an Ezreal that's 3-1-0. So as long as I play around him and make sure that the Kha'Zix and Fiora... They don't actually have a front line. This game's fine. Okay. I can win this game. Cossacks, just don't outplay people, please. That's my team. Okay, we're not getting outplayed. I can go back to my lane. Dangerous cut. Don't get engaged on here. There's a lot of minions. Interesting. I have to recall now. She played that really well. Damn. I didn't even think she got the bottom proc off, but she did.
They're actually low resources, but she has a team on, so she'll push to me. It's fine. And she's actively pushing for some reason. I wish I could help my bot lane this game, but at least I got a lead on my end. My Sona has a t I don't know if the Sona's trolling, but... The enemy Soraka has four kills. That's a thonker. They have a 20 CS lead and a kill. Alright, I can win. Hmm. I need to know where Kha'Zix is right now. Before it to play aggressive. I don't really lose out on anything by just playing like this. Beating mm, Ezreal is like full easy effort. Ooh, dude, I love playing this matchup because players find each other's patterns. Oh my god, I love it. I just trashed her. So previously, I recognized that she figured out how I hook. Um, because uh, basically against Fury, you always have to play around the parry as Darius because you don't you don't want to get your dunk parried and then you don't want to get your pull parried or else you get stunned. And so. Previously, I knew that she was hooking. She figured out when I was hooking, and so she was parrying it. She parried it perfectly once, and I lost a trade because of it. I had to force my flash. Then I figured out when she was doing it, so I just straight sidestepped it, and I killed her because of it um, with a Lee Sin gain that she wasn't expecting. This time, I figured exactly how she's going to do it, and so I just full comboed her and just fucking sent her to next week. I get her tower. I'm not even power spiking right now. I just straight out played her, but uh, I'm weak right now, so I need to back off. All right. We're safe. Oh my god, that felt good. Like, mm. I even did a black cleaver because of that outplay. Holy shit, I'm a beast. I'm gonna win a ranked game. Fuck yeah. So the Kha'Zix, outside of that one outplay he got all game, is losing, so... This game's lit. One and seven. I'm gonna need to carry this game against the 4 Lee Sin! Hello! This is gonna be fun! Nice! Okay, I should be able to win this matchup now. Let me go clear the sword. By itself, it's pretty hello. I think I should press press my advantage top lane. Yeah, I have a mark on the bottom end of me. Fuck, I actually just got outplayed. Hmm. 
No, I'm gonna die. I'll play the lease in. Fuck you. Oh god, dog that No. Holy. I totally thought, like. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Okay, war jump for days. Oh, not a good war jump, but a good Q. So he gets some. Oh, I didn't realize one down and out there. Nice. Darn. And her god is beating a Renekin top. Understandable because range different, but, and the fact that top that jungle. No, Ur got straight towners Renekton. That's such a brutal fucking lane for Renekton. Really? Yeah, it's it's bad. It's like everything in Ur got straight hard counters him. He has the range difference, and then he's a lane bully. Wow, they. Oh no, never mind. Um, his the range difference. He's a lane bully, and then he pressures Renekton when he's at his weakest, levels one through three, specifically level two. It's really hard versus for for Renekton. And you can like just win your lane off of that. Uh, it's like Jace, but on crack. Because at least Jace falls off. I wonder if Rapid Fire can spin crit. Probably not. I grab Rapid Fire Cannon after the F Sword instead of Static Shiv. Let's see if that works. If the Sona gets a three-man shockwave in the woods and no one's there to follow up, is it really a good one? Ooh, I missed. Alright. Let's just back out. I just lost my top tower for no reason. Fuck. That's depressing. Next item's gonna be Aranduins, and then we're gonna start building the retardedly good items on Darius. I regret the decision to get Rapid Fire Cannon. Why did we do that? Any damage I want. What? Who are you playing? I'm playing Caitlyn. You should do Hurricane first item. Hurricane, Infinity, Edge, Rapid Fire. Like you don't like it? It's it's cookie cutter. It's really really efficient with your headshot. Yeah, I'm not. I don't disagree with you, but. Static shiv versus much better. Yeah, static shiv's a good supplement. I only do that if I'm full AD though. Because oh, uh, it's magic damage. But oh, like I third item, generally uh, rapid fire is better because of the interactions with that and headshot. Like optimal Caitlyn play is literally just you get three or four headshots in a team fight on squishies, and so you need to maximize that, because outside of that, you, you might as well be playing another ADC. You know? Like, oh yeah, dude, I'm just shredding these tanks, said no Caitlyn ever. Like, you don't you don't play Caitlyn to shred tanks. You could be playing or Vayne, or Kogma, or Twitch, or Ezreal, all of which have uh, higher DPS really, like, towards tanks. Makes me really sad. Good shit. Speed me up, Bobby. Damn, she barely lived. I could have Q flashed there and gotten her 100%. Oh well. Lee get vag. What does that even mean? Can we fucking not, team? This is how you throw. Just tip the inhib. 
Get the... Get the inhib! Please. Now let's just all walk out safely and not kill ourselves on the enemy team. Thank you. God, that's stressful. Hey, I got it. It's actually just me versus the world here, so I need a nut. Just gonna shove him mid. If he throws an E up, me. Wait, Lee Sin, no. Okay, there we go. Can we, can we not? Can we just not chase into their team and just force them to come to us through Baron? Oh no, our Ezreal's solo on a solo mission. God, why is this game so stressful? God, I keep missing all my hooks over the walls. It's the longest Baron of my life. No, you've had longer. No, that was that was a forty-second Baron. <laughs> we just we're just all on it, and just like every time an enemy teammate would walk up Leeson and Ezreal, the two DPS champions for the Baron, would jump over and kill them and then jump back 